Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Hi, I'm Joel Gingrich, Dean of Trades and Technologies at Red Deer College, and we're here at Red Deer College today for the Renewable Energy Fair being hosted at the college. It's a Rethink Red Deer event that's helping to create some community awareness around alternative energy systems. I was invited by Rethink Red Deer to speak at the Renewable Energy Fair, but I was blown away by what I learned about what's going on at Red Deer College. There's been a massive initiative around alternative energy systems at the college, part of a larger plan, a green campus initiative that's been in the works for 10 to 15 years, but in particular within the last year and a half, there's been a major investment into alternative energy systems. It's called the Green Campus Initiative, or the Green Energy Master Plan. The goal? Reduce Red Deer College's utility consumption by 20%. There's over 3,600 solar panels that have been installed, 1.6 megawatts of solar production, as well as a, a major 1 megawatt combined heat and power unit. So the combination of all of those, as well as some investment in uh, switching lighting to LED lighting, the combination of all of that, the energy produced and the energy saved, is targeted at saving the campus over a million dollars in utility costs annually. That's the largest rooftop solar system on any educational institution in Canada and one of the largest rooftop systems in Western Canada. Solar is everywhere. The most dramatic is the west end of the campus and that's uh, all of the flat surfaces on the Gary W. Harris Canada Games Centre that will be hosting the Canada Games in Red Deer in February of 2019. We've got a solar covered walkway, a pedway that connects the main campus to the Canada Games Centre. The flat roofs on as many of the main parts of the main campus as possible also have solar installed. Red Deer College has smashed their goals. These solar and cogen systems will provide 66% of the electricity for the campus. Our target was with all of the alternative energy production systems to achieve a 20% reduction in utilities. We've already exceeded that and we're starting to look at what would it take to become a net zero campus. The college is now looking at using organic waste to produce fuel as well. A core part of the campus initiative was building the new alternative energy lab where they can infuse training about alternative energy into the trades and other fields. We have 2,000 to 3,500 students a year just through our trades and technologies area that are going into conventional careers, but even in those conventional businesses, there's still elements of alternative energy that the students, the graduates will be exposed to, and we want to make sure they have enough familiarity to be able to contribute to the business or, for that matter, start their own business in that area. This foray into new sources of energy and education by Red Deer College is dramatic and it will be noticed thanks to the Canada Games coming in February. But the impact Gingrich sees goes well beyond the solar modules on the roof. When we think about the impact that has on the operations, but more importantly, or as importantly, the impact it has on the culture and the thinking of those that pass through the walls and spend time with the campus, the partners, the students, the industry, uh, members that do training. This is about helping people understand more about alternative energy and how they might implement that in their businesses, in their homes, in their communities. Gingrich attributes the boldness of this vision to the leadership in the college, partnerships with Rethink Red Deer, and the nimbleness of the community. How we'd describe not only Red Deer College, but also the city of Red Deer in central Alberta, is it's a region that's big enough to have an impact, but small enough to be able to respond and adapt as needed. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Getting good grades, the future's so bright. I gotta wear shades.